Do you want to know the best text-to-speech software for YouTube videos? It seems like such a simple thing, but not all of them are created equal. In today's video, we're going to go over five different text-to-speech softwares that you could use for your YouTube videos, or any videos for that matter, so you won't have to use your own voice. Make sure to watch the entire video because there's a little extra trick that I show you. Welcome to Entrepreneur's Toolbox. I'm Jonathan and I'm here to help you find the tools to build an income online. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So make sure that you subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified when new videos go live. I'd say one of the top excuses people give me for not starting to make their own content on YouTube or any content creation site for that matter is A, they don't want to be on camera. Or B, they don't want their voice to be on their videos. And I get it. Those were actually my biggest excuses for the longest time. But when people think of text-to-speech, they usually think of that old Mac text-to-speech from the 90s. You remember that? No, I'm in a real fraud. The light you see at the end of the tunnel. Please tell me that I'm not the only one that remembers that. Y yes, it reads to you, but it's obviously not a real person. Or am I wrong? Nah, it, it's, it's pretty obvious. So we're gonna go over five different ways to get text-to-speech for your videos. Don't worry, even my least favorite one is better than the old Mac text-to-speech from the 90s. Okay, so this is the first option. It's pretty straightforward. It's basically the newer version of the Mac text-to-speech. And it doesn't sound as, you know, I wanna say as bad as the old text-to-speech used to, but it, I mean, it's definitely not my first choice, but it's an option, and I just wanted to give it to you is because it's built into every single Mac, so no matter what, everybody has this option. So, I mean, you just right-click, and you can go to speech, and you get to speak for you. If you want to know the best text-to-speech software for YouTube videos, it seems like such a simple thing, but not all of them are created equal. I'm gonna stop it. As you can see, it's not, it doesn't sound great, but it, it's usable. If that's all that you could afford, it's something that you could do and you just would need to record it. And I'll get into that later in this video, exactly how you do that. So that one does still sound pretty robotic, but it does sound better than the old Mac to speech. Like I said, not my favorite option, but I wanted to put it out there. Who knows, it could be right for somebody. So this is the second option that I'm gonna go over. It's called Natural Readers. So it's, it's highlighting. I'll just show you exactly what it does. So you could pick different voices, depending on also different languages as well, but let's just go to the English since we're talking about English at the moment and I don't speak the other languages, so I can't judge. But okay, we'll just go by the default, Samantha. So. Do you want to know the best text-to-speech software for YouTube videos? It seems like such a simple thing, but not all of them are created equal. So as you can see, it. It does sound a lot better than the Mac to speech one that's built into the computer. If you want to save it off the website, it's not going to be able to do it natively unless you upgrade to one of their paid plans. So I just wanted to throw that out there that it's that this free version, it doesn't actually let you download it until you upgrade to the to, to one of their paid plans. Natural Readers is a pretty decent voice to speech software, but to me it's not really quite good enough to justify paying for it. It still has the free option, so there's no harm in giving it a try and seeing if you like it. For our third option, we're gonna go over VoiceMaker. So VoiceMaker has a little bit more control and it's also currently free. So I'm just gonna uh, paste the same exact thing that I had in the other video. And as you can see, you could pauses, emphasize different words. You could adjust the volume on different parts of it. And then you could also, you know, spell things out and give it a little bit of details. So I'm just gonna show you the default what happens when you convert the speech? Convert speech. Do you want to know the best text-to-speech software for YouTube videos? It seems like such a simple thing. So that's just by itself. So if you spend a little bit of time adding, you know, where they, you want pauses, where you want it to emphasize, different volume levels and things like that, this one could actually make a really good text-to-speech that would work really well with your YouTube or whatever videos you're trying to make. The free plan currently limits to 250 characters per voiceover, but if you're okay with it, you could always split it up into a bunch of smaller files and then put them together in your editing software. And currently it says there's unlimited conversions on the free software, but it says it's in beta, so I don't know by the time you see this video, it might be out of beta, but we'll, I guess we'll have to wait and see. 
you could download the MP3 and it doesn't have any kind of restriction beyond what it said for their pricing as far as like the 250 characters. I actually really like VoiceMaker. Again, it's not perfect, but considering that this one can convert up to 250 characters and there currently isn't any conversion limit on the free version, this is definitely one to check out. If you have a longer script, just split it up into several files. If you get value out of these videos, make sure that you like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell so you get notified every time that I upload a new video. If you have any requests for videos, let me know in the comments. I'm here to serve you, and I wanna make sure that I'm making videos on subjects that you wanna learn about. So for our fourth tool, this is actually part of the IBM Cloud. So it's kind of a weird link, and I'll put all the links in the description just so you can get to them and you can try them all out. But this one, you just have to paste the text here and then you pick your language. So we can just even see, leave it at the default and I'm gonna hit speak and you can hear what it sounds like. Do you want to know the best text to speech software for YouTube videos? It seems like such a simple thing, but not all of them are created equal. You get the idea and I could, I could put a different one and just see what the male version if you wanted to hear it. Conscious of its spiritual and moral heritage, the union is founded on the indivisible universal you know, I don't know about you, but this actually does sound pretty good to me, even without any kind of modifications or any kind of little tweaks. So IBM's doing something right. And again, it's a completely free option, but this, like some of the other ones, the limitation is that it only plays out of your speakers, so we need to figure out a different workaround to save these files off of the website. So like I said, this is part of the IBM cloud, and I feel it sounds pretty good. Again, the biggest issue is that you can only preview it. I actually have a workaround for that, but I'll get into that in just a few moments. But just remember to obey the terms of use of any of the sites that you're getting the speech to text from. So this is Speechalo, and I actually really like this one. The only other one that I feel that it sounds nearly as good as this one is the IBM one. But that one has the problem where you're not necessarily able to save it or tweak it very well. So I'm just gonna paste that same text that we converted earlier. And as you see, that there's a couple different versions of this one. So you have like their standard one, it's the one that I have, and it works just fine. You can go to their pro version, which actually has a recurring payment, uh, which I didn't do, but I bought this software and it works very good. Uh, you're just limited if you don't do the pro software, you don't get as many voices. So they want you to pay a subscription to get more voices available, have longer text, but I usually just break up the text into multiple pieces anyway, so that doesn't affect me. But I just pack, paste that in there, and you pick what kind of tone you want. You want standard, or you want the AI to kind of pick out all of the different uh, pauses and breaths and things like that. And then you can go select your voice. So you want to just leave it Billy and then generate, or, you know, and that's it. Now it's created this, and do you want to know the best text-to-speech software for YouTube videos? It seems like such a simple thing, but not all of them are created equal. In today See, it sounds pretty good. So it, I think on par with the IBM one. And then when you're done, in this one you just hit download and it downloads MP3. If you did decide that you wanted to make it completely manual, you could do the same thing, add breathing, emphasize different words, adjust the speech, but you'd have to do that all manually. So. If you're trying to do something real quick, just hit the AI and it will create a nice voiceover for you. Uh, you could break it up into smaller pieces so you could kind of manage them and tweak them as you go. Like I said, I really like Speechlo. I find it is the closest sounding to a real human. Okay, again, to be fair, I think that the IBM Cloud version sounds pretty good too. The only issue is that you can't save it natively. Now I do have a quick workaround to download the audio from any site that doesn't allow downloads. Just remember, I have no idea what will happen if you use audio without permission. So the free software that you can record the audio for is called OBS. All you need to do is just create a scene and then add your computer's audio. And when you hit record on OBS, hit play on the audio playing on your computer and it will record the audio. You'll be able to have an MP3 or whatever format you're saving in through OBS. It's very simple, just go to scene, and in sources, hit plus and just select your computer as the audio source that you wanna capture. My personal favorite is Speechalo because it sounds good, you can customize the voiceover, and it includes the commercial rights, so there's no risk of you getting flagged for copyright. If you're interested in my top pick Speechalo, I'll drop a link in the description. Which text-to-speech software do you like the best? Do you use a different software you like better? Let me know in the comments, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.